Yes, now we'll discuss about the perineum part 3. In perineum part 2, you have seen the istuar rectal fossa, istuar inner fossa. You have seen the boundary of the istuar inner fossa. This is base, here is apex, this is structures from lateral boundary, here is medial boundary, and this fossa is divided into three spaces perineal space, istuarectal space, and suprategmental space. Dimension of this istuarectal fossa is anterior posterior dimension is about 5 cm and transverse dimension is about 2.5 cm and vertical dimension is about 5 cm. In this diagram, you can see here this is pudendal canal. Now, in this section, we will discuss about this pudendal canal. This is hip bone. Here you can see this is ischial spine. This is ischial spine. It is attached with sacro spinous ligament. Here is sacro tuberous ligament. Here is position of sacrum. Here is sacro tuberous ligament. In this diagram, this is greater sciatic foramen, this is lesser sciatic foramen. And here is position of this is perineal membrane. Here is perineal membrane. This is facial tunnel extend from lesser sciatic foramen to posterior border of perineal membrane from here to here. This and this is formed by this splitting of this lunate fascia. This lunate fascia is split into two parts and form this. So this facial tunnel. Now what are the content of this pudendal canal? This pudendal canal contains pudendal nerve. This is pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels, artery and vein, internal pudendal vessels. These are two, three contents of the this pudendal canal. One is pudendal nerve and other is internal pudendal artery and internal pudendal vein. So we will discuss one by one. First of all, we will discuss about this pudendal nerve. We enlarge this this pudendal canal magnified here here is pudendal nerve. This is pudendal nerve. This nerve is formed by 
sector plexus root value is yes two, yes three, yes four. Initially, it after passing through this greater sciatic foramen, it goes into gluteal region. Then it crosses this ischial spine. Then again into goes into pelvic cavity by passing through. Lesser sciatic foramen. Here, this nerve, put in the gives one branch that is inferior rectal nerve. This is inferior rectal nerve. And it gives another branch. This is dorsal nerve of the penis this is dorsal nerve of penis or in female dorsal nerve of clitoris here is perineal branch it gives perineal branch this is perineal branch this perineal branch gives supply to It gives posterior scrotal branch. These are posterior scrotal branch. So this branch is perineal branch. It gives posterior scrotal branch. In male, in female, posterior labial branch. And it also gives several muscular branch. These muscular branch, branches give supply to muscles of urogenital region. So these are nerve branches of the pudendal nerve. Now artery, internal pudendal artery. Here is internal pudendal artery, which is a branch of anterior division of internal iliac artery. It gives branch that is inferior rectal artery. This is inferior rectal artery. It gives artery to penis. This is artery to penis. This is artery to penis. This artery to penis gives dorsal artery of the penis. This is deep artery to the penis. Here is artery to urethra, artery to bun. So these are the branches of the artery to penis. Dorsal artery, deep artery, artery to urethra, artery to bun. And the branch, that is perineal branch. This is perineal branch. It divides and gives Total branch or posterior labial branch. Here it gives numerous muscular branches. This artery accompanied with vein. This vein. So this pudendal nerve is clinically very important in case of female during surgery of the lower part of the vagina. This pudendal nerve can be blocked here by giving anesthesia locally. So this is all about the pudendal canal and its content.